I have a leaky radiator here. Um, I'm getting a drip. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in here and replace this new radiator installation sheet. So this radiator cost me $189. So I've lo loosened up my negative terminal. It was a 10 millimeter wrench and I've taken that off. Airbag sensors are located near most radiators. Refer to the repair manual for instructions to disarm that. And remove the radiator cap. Um, it's cold. And I am short radiator fluid, so I know this isn't going to be a big deal. So. There's a white cap headcock here. It is dripping out here. I loosened it up. And after you've opened it up, see where it's dripping. Make sure you look down there because it's going to start following along parts of the car and dripping in other places. I have to remove this plastic here and then this metal crossbar here. After you've taken those six screws out, the bolt and the locking tabs, then this will slide out. And be careful, we don't want to break our grill. So there's the first piece. I've taken my screws out, put them separate. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is take out this cross I'm member. Using a half inch socket. I will remove these, there's four bolts here. Pop off these plastic clips that are holding my hood release. So now to get this tab, what I have done is I put my screwdriver, I found which side it was loose on, and I pushed that in and pried that out. So again, on this one is actually on the opposite side, so the hinge is on this side. So I'm going to tuck my screwdriver in over here, push it in, and pry that up, and that has been released. And we're going to come over here and pop the other one out. Now my hood cable, lift this piece up, and out of the way. Make sure it's not touching the battery terminals in any way. There's some tabs right here I squeezed and I was able to pull, release this air conditioning unit. Right down at the bottom, there's a little lip on the radiator and I have pulled the air conditioning unit up and off of that so it is away from my radiator. So I will be lifting that up and off of there as well. This is one of the easier things to remove so I'm gonna radiator and then I'll remove this hose as well. So next I'm going to remove one, two, three, four clips so that I can take this cover off. Which and then these tabs, what I did is I stuck a screwdriver in on each side underneath it and then I pried it up. So this one's here and then I did that same thing for all four of these. So I'm going to disconnect the fan here from the power, unscrew this, lift this fan out and then I'm going to do the same thing over here. So if you haven't undone one of these clips, this is to the cooling fan here. What I've um, done, I pushed this in with my screwdriver when it was connected and then I was able to push it down and then I just pushed with my screwdriver to pop it all the way through and now it's released. Right. Then I was able to push this little tab right here and I was able to pull this off to release it. Okay, so now what I've done on this other side here is I've pushed that little tab over and then once I had it over I pushed up with my screwdriver and that's release is push on the back. And there's another tab, and this is going to slide off, and then you can see right here there's a little lever here, so it's just at the back in the center, you'll push on that, it'll lift up, it'll slide right out. The next thing that I'll be removing is this bolt right here and then there's a bolt right here and then these fans will pull straight out. So I've removed the electrical on this. I've removed this bolt and this fan is seated in there and it should pull straight out. Seated in there as well. There we go. Again, we don't want to lose these bolts, so I'm going to keep that together. This far, I've removed the fans, I've removed the hose. Okay, so as I was doing this, there was a flap that was catching up on 
one of the bottom radi or air conditioning hoses so I just pulled that in and I was able to separate the air conditioning unit so it's lifted off of the radiator so now the radiator should pull straight out. Finished draining that. Check to make sure I haven't damaged the AC unit at all. I'm going to need to get these side plates so I have this one here that I'm going to have to remove and also the one on the other side. So I'm going to take those out. I'm going to put those on to the new one. So I have removed this one. I'm just going to lay it the same way right on this side so I know where it goes. And I already got one of these from earlier. So again, on this one, I'm going to push down, push down on this tab and pull up. And I have removed that one. I'm going to set that same direction it was. The next thing I'm going to do is I've taken the radiator out and I'm going to compare to make sure that they're similar and that there's no components that I need to detach or attach. This is the same unit. They match up identically, which is nice. So I'm going to put those plastic flaps back onto the sides right now. I have left these in the same direction. So this is going to actually be quite easy. I'm just going to pop these back into place. So there's that one. So I'm going to come across to the other side here. And because of how I left it, I know exactly how it's going to fit. In the process of taking out my radiator, I'm just going to replace my hose here. I'm unable to get this. Um, used a knife and I cut through this because it was right onto here. So I've cut it and I'm peeling it away. And then to get this hose on, I simply have my clamp here. I'm gonna push this into place. So now I put new hoses on here and everything else looks fine. So I'm gonna drop in the radiator. Before I drop my radiator in, I have these caps here. I'm gonna make sure that these come off. My pet cock is good. And there is a caution label on here. Avoid warranty if not flushed with new antifreeze coolant and distilled water. Set this in the proper direction. So again, this is going to fit in there. These pieces right here are what I had a hard time with last time with the air conditioning system. And if you're getting hung up, don't force it. There we go. So again, I just had to give it a little wiggle and it found its placement. So I have the hose pushed into place. Get this strap over that. So I have this hose secured. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. So make sure you can see this little flap here and then it's also going to seat right inside here. So that's in place over there and there. So now we're going to screw it in, tighten this fan down and again it's just secured on here with plastic. So don't reef it down or you're going to break that. So we can plug this back in and then after we clip this back up it's on and now next we're going to push this red tab back over and we have secured that fan motor back in place. Okay, same thing on the other side. This piece is going to fit in on the radiator and slide down and then this tab will fit on the bottom and then we're going to bolt it in and secure the electrical. We're going to need to get our air conditioning unit set up. There's the tabs that are down there on the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see them. And then there's a tab down on the bottom of the radiator unit here as well. So the plastic clips to the air conditioning unit or post will fit in there. Then I'm going to connect this tab here and this tab here on the top and the air conditioning unit should be secured back in place. Okay I've seated the bottom here and I've seated the bottom here just by lifting up. Next I will be connecting this tab here 
and then we're gonna push that down and I'm gonna push this in I need two hands to do it and there we popped it in with the other side I came over here um, I simply just pushed this this just popped right into place so I have secured next we're gonna put our cross member on here and again nothing should smash on it should all fit on nicely my overflow hose I brought it underneath my top radiator hose it's gonna connect on there nicely so that's good so now I can bolt this down next we need to secure which will keep the air from flowing up between the air conditioning and the radiator we want to make sure that all that air is going through my tabs from the old one to the new one aren't lining up so I'm gonna get a drill and I'm gonna drill out this plastic and I'm going to put a hole in here, one here, so that these will line up and I can continue to use this. So now I figured out where I was going to drill here. Take my pin, make sure it pops through there, which it does nicely. Pop it into my new tab. Tap this slightly with the screwdriver. And I have secured the first one. So I'm on my last one here, it fit perfectly. And then after that's secure, we will attach our overflow hose. Next we'll reconnect our hood release. Tighten my battery cable. So next I will pull this out and flush my radiator. And then when you're flushing out your system make sure you're using distilled water change the radiator I'm flushing the system so I filled it once I'll fill it again um, we will do this several times I'm gonna add Xerox super radiator flush and then I'm gonna fill this with distilled water I drained it I put in the super flush this is a super flush drain then I drained it and rinsed it out and then I rinsed it out again and I'm gonna mix it up now and you can see the color change it went a lot darker lighter and considerably lighter. Down the plastic screws that hold the grill. Last, make sure you double check to make sure you left no tools. 